protecting planet Earth. <gasps> Look down there. What is that? It's an island, Sue. No, 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 not the island. Underneath the water. It, it looks like rocks. Ah, that. That's a coral reef. Coral reefs are like underwater cities for sea creatures. Oh, underwater cities? I'd love to know more about them. Curiosity? Yes, Captain Zoo. Let's find out about coral reefs. Coral reefs are home to so many sea creatures. This sea turtle is looking for something to eat in the coral. So is this shark. Some fish use the coral to hide in. Others like to disguise themselves as coral. Some sea creatures like to wriggle around it. Lots of colorful creatures feed and live on the coral. Coral can sometimes look very colorful itself too. So many ocean creatures depend on coral. And coral itself is a living thing. Coral is alive? Yeah. Let me show you. Coral can look like rock, but it's actually made up of lots and lots of tiny animals called coral polyps. And growing inside the coral polyps are tiny plant-like creatures, which provide food for corals and give them their amazing colours. Corals also have hard skeletons, just like humans. What? Yeah, except human skeletons are on the inside and coral skeletons are on the outside. Coral is amazing! Yes, but unfortunately it's in trouble because the ocean is becoming more acidic. Acidic? Hmm. I'd like to know more about that. Curiosity, search for some curious young humans, please. Certainly, Captain Zoo. <laughs> Located curious young humans. Tara and Killian. Okay, Curiosity crew, let's get going. Where are we? It's Killian and Tara's school. Look, it's the Look, space right there. Hi, Killian. Hi, Tara. Hi, Zoom. Hi, Zoom. Can you help us, please? Can you show Zoom how acids affect sea life? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Let's find out. This experiment needs eggs, vinegar, and a large clear container. Huh, so, what's the experiment, guys? Today we are going to show you what acid can do. Tara, now can you put the egg into the container? <gasps> oh, I love eggs! Are they going to boil them, or poach them, or scramble them, or... <laughs> no, Zoom. They're going to put one in vinegar. Huh? Eggs have hard vinegar. shells a bit like the hard skeletons of coral. And vinegar is acidic. Acidic. Like how the ocean is becoming acidic. Yes. And Killian and Tara want to find out what acidic vinegar does to a hard eggshell. Ugh, that's a lot of vinegar. Now they have to wait and see what happens to the egg. Uh, for how long? Until the same time tomorrow. Hey, uh, what happened to the egg? The acidic vinegar has completely dissolved the shell. All that's left of it are those bits in the water. An egg with no shell. And look, you can see the yolk inside. Karen, do you want to bounce it? <laughs> I never saw a bouncy egg before. Oh, bounce it again, please, Tara. It broke. Yes, Sue, because the vinegar dissolves the shell. An acid in the ocean can dissolve coral skeletons the same way. So that's why the coral is in trouble. Thanks for showing me, Killian and Tara, with your fantastic egg experiment. <laughs> Let's find out. Damaged by 
it's because humans are putting too much vinegar in the oceans? <laughs> no, Zoom. The coral's been damaged because there's too much carbon dioxide, or CO2, going into the oceans. Oh. Right. Let's pretend that these containers of water are our oceans. Oh, are those coral reefs at the bottom? They're pretend ones, Zoom. Hmm. First, let's add some of this stuff into the water. This shows us how acidic the water already is. Oh, it's a lovely blue oceany colour. That colour tells us that this water is not very acidic. All right, let's add some CO2. Oh, where are you going to get that? Have you got a CO2 machine here somewhere? You're looking at it, Zoom. I'm one, and so is Amy. Huh? You see, Zoom, there is a little bit of CO2 in the air we humans breathe out. So we're going to blow some CO2 into the water and see if we can make our oceans here more acidic. But in the real world, it's not breathing that's the problem. It's burning too many fossil fuels. That's producing too much CO2, which is making its way into the air and into the oceans. Oh. So today we're pretending that you and Amy are fossil fuels. All right. Three, two, one. Blow! <laughs> if the water becomes more acidic, the colour will change from blue to yellow. More acidic. Yes, Zoom. The CO2 is dissolving in the water and making it more acidic. And it's doing the same on a larger scale in the oceans, which is damaging the coral reefs. Oh, the poor ocean. And the poor coral. <laughs> but, Mark, you sure are doing a great job of being a fossil fuel. <laughs> oh. Let's find out. Hey, Amy. Humans put a bit less CO2 into the atmosphere, you could help the coral reefs. Yes, we could. And I know a great way of doing it. <gasps> what is it? By sharing, Zoom. We should go on a sharing adventure. <gasps> and sharing is caring. <laughs> Curiosity, set course for a sharing adventure. Setting course for a sharing adventure. Okay, Curiosity, let's zoom around. Amy, Zoom, we're all out of brain power. Oh, we can't go on our trip without that. Uh, let's go back to Killian and Tara's school for help. Have you run out of brain power? Yes, we have. Would you be able to generate some more for us? Yes, yes we, we would. would. Well then, it's time for a brain power challenge. When the power runs out, it's the brain power challenge. When we can't get a boat, it's the brain power challenge. Put our helmets on, got our brains feeling strong. Get the power back on. Brain power challenge. Yeah! Killian, Tara, put your brain power helmets on, please. Okay, we need you to help us by answering some questions so we can generate enough brain power to get the curiosity going again. Are we ready? Yes! Yeah. Okay, question one. Tara, when lots of coral grows together, it's called a coral what? Is it reef, beef, or leaf? Reef. That's the right answer! Yes! Yay! And look at this, you're already making brain power! <laughs> Killian, here's your question. The ocean is becoming too acidic because of increasing amounts of what? Is it bamboo, bird poo, or CO2? CO2. That's the royal answer! Yeah! Oh, we've got enough brain power to get going again! Thanks, Killian. Thanks, Tara. Bye, everyone. Bye! And remember,
remember, always stay curious. Right, Zoom, now it's time to go on our trip. Haha! Ultimate -ha. okay, curiosity? Let's zoom around! Arrived in a sharing adventure to find out how to make less CO2. Is this a train station, Amy? It sure is, Zoom. Amy, look where I am. Zoom, we're in the driver's seat. Yeah, it's just like the Curiosity. Stand behind the yellow line, please. <laughs> Zoom, this train needs to go. Okay. This train belongs to everybody, Zoom. Transport that everybody can use is called public transport. <laughs> now I know why this is a sharing adventure. It's taking off. Oh, it's great fun. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is, Zoom. But trains aren't just great fun, because the more people use public transport, the less fossil fuels we burn. So trains really can help. <laughs> exactly. Amy, is there any other kind of public transport we can try? There sure is, Zoom. <laughs> Look at all these buses, Amy. <laughs> is this where the buses live? <laughs> yes, Zoom. It's where the buses start and finish each day. It's called a bus depot. Where's our bus? Ah, it's about to be plugged in over there. Now, for years, the buses have been powered using petrol and diesel. Oh, otherwise known as fossil fuels. That's right, Zoom. This bus runs on electricity, too. Oh, so that means even less carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere. Hello. Amy, aren't we, um, missing something? That soon. Other people! There's no one sharing this bus with us! Let's go pick up some passengers. Better travel on together now, Zoom. It's time for tea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Curiosity, let's zoom around. Now I know something you did some fun things with my Curiosity crew. Captain, my spaceship, and flew to lots of places. <laughs> 